Welcome back guys. I am here with the caloric recipe book. It's uh, one of them we, that we picked out was the coconut shrimp. It is asking us for some shredded coconut uh, shreds, some panko, some shrimp, the coconut milk. I believe it said non-sweetened, uh, unsweetened coconut milk, and then just salt and pepper. So with these powers combined, we should be able to get something that resembles that so let's give it a shot okay so this is plain just plain old i got it at shop right i'm gonna go ahead and get a cup because the recipe calls for um one pound of large u.s size uh shrimp or u15 sized shrimp excuse me and um because it's asking for, uh, we bought two pounds i'm just gonna go ahead and double double the recipe so I'm just going to go ahead and add this, the panko, into this food processor because they want us to take these kind of, they want, they want both of these to kind of mix together and shred a little bit. So after this, we'll go ahead and move on to the next thing. All right, that about does it. So now I have a cup of this and I have a cup of the coconut shreds. Remember guys, the recipe calls for half of this, but again, I got two pounds. So I got double the materials to fail. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna just pulse this real quick and yeah, that's about it. I don't really know how long I have to do this for, but it looks pretty well mixed. Looks definitely really well mixed, so we'll put this off to the side. You guys have taken shrimp shells off real quick, right? Just a little warm water because they were kind of frozen. Open them up a little bit, pull them out. Got a nice clean bowl over here. Have a nice wet bowl over here, the bag over here. I got a little system going on and my camera guy, which is also my wife, just loves to watch me do work. <laughs> All right, folks, we're just going to go ahead and put the panko mixture as it asks us to put it on a shallow container here. This guy wants to come right off. That's fine. In you go again. Go ahead and spread this. Go ahead and spread this out a little bit. All right. Here they want us to put salt and pepper. So just for the giggles, I'll go ahead and uh, pepper really doesn't bother me too much. Salt, I want to be careful. They want me to be generous with the salt here and the and the liquid coconuts milk. So I'm just going to put some here, just kind of mix it around, play with it with my hands. Um, kind of like back in the day when we used to play in the mud before electronics took over our lives. We used to play with our hands. All right, I'm going to move over here, my dear. I'm going to grab the coconut milk. The coconut milk has a, has its own oil. So I'm going to go ahead and be careful. I'm going to whisk this a little bit. Just a little bit. We had to warm it up a little bit because um, out of the can, it came out a little uh, congealed, I suppose, if you, you say. And uh, here, it's a little warm. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. Put this over here. Put a little uh, salt and pepper. They said, again, they said to be very generous with the salt and the pepper. <laughs> I've been generous before, guys, and I've been like, whoa, this is way too much salt. So I'm not sure if, I don't know how generous I should be. So this being my first time, I'm going to be under generous because I, don't, I really don't want this to be a mixture that tastes, oh, like really seasoned. But since this is plain, I think that should be enough. I'll throw all that in. I, I just grabbed a handful. I would say, guys, if if you're if you're happy with a lot of salt, put put a lot of salt in it. Um, if you don't want to put a lot of salt, take your time. Um, you can always uh, do the taste test uh, and play around with it to your uh, likes. Because honestly, you're the one that's gonna eat it if you choose to do so. So I don't want you guys to take my uh, my advice and then be like, man, this. This guy don't know how to do nothing. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in a little bit because what I have to do is then I have to take these shrimps right here 
and let them sit. Actually, let me taste this real quick. Mm. Mm. It says it's not sweet, but it's got a sweet taste. Of, actually, wow. Mm. <laughs> that tastes really good. Mm. Wow. Wow, that tastes really good. I mean, wow. <laughs> I feel like I could do something with just this coconut three thing. Man. Mm. You can almost make like rice rice or something with this like uh wow this is really tasty that that coconut uh, i love coconut so maybe that's that's why i'm a little biased with the coconut so i'm just going to put these in here you know what i'm just going to kind of throw them all in here as long as long as they can um get covered up and let them uh marinate a little bit 10 minutes they said 10 minutes so i'm actually going to leave them in here so it's been about 11 minutes they've been sitting here Honestly, they're going to sit a little bit longer because the recipe asks for one line, one, one row. They don't actually want you to stack them. So I'm going to actually leave them here because possibly uh, they might have like little markings and stuff, little grill marks. So I'm actually going to put some of them like that and I'm just going to bam, bam, just like that real quick and easy. And I'm just going to lay it in there and then I'm going to do that in like a row so that they don't want us to stack them. I think I've already said that, but it's always good to make sure that you really hit. So you repeat yourself in case somebody wasn't paying attention at the time. Anyway, so we're gonna do it like this. And then when this is all nice and lined up, wow, I guess I can't, I guess I can put like maybe one more if I, if I try to be a little more. Yeah, because this is all open, so they're gonna get you know, and it's going to be in the air fryer section, so it's it's going to get it's going to get heat from all angles. So, how many of you guys have cats? Because this is what it looks like when they poop, <laughs> when they leave in the kitter in the kitty litter, and they go ahead and they cover it up. That's what their poops look like. I just thought you guys should. <laughs> I thought you guys should have that visual. <laughs> all right, guys. So we're ready. They're nice and coated as much as possible. The remainder at the bottom, I'm actually going to reuse. Why? Because, uh, to be honest, this right here is, th these were jumbo, not large. I, I, the recipe called for large, and I, I I guess I got greedy, and I like my shrimp to be big. Because these are going to shrink anyway, so <laughs> I, I always get the jumbos. Um, this actually is, a lot of it is actually sticking here, so I want to use as much as possible, and I'm already, I, I'm already doubled the amount because I got double the amount of these and the shrimp are also bigger and I'm going through it kind of quickly so let's go to the caloric I believe air fryer is here so we're gonna put it put the basket with the uh, with the drip pan together okay so I'm going to Hit my start button, hit my fry, and it's got a shrimp, where's the shrimp? Right here, okay. So I'm gonna go four over, one, two, three, four. It says 10 minutes, and that's exactly what it is. We're gonna hit start, and we'll see you back in 10. All right guys, it's been six minutes, and it's already getting a little crispy on one side and not the other, of course. We all kind of knew to expect that. That's why we always keep an eye on our food, especially on the caloric. And we're back in business all right we're done we're done we're done we're done we're done we're done and we're gonna take these bad boys out you know when it's done you don't just leave them in there all right these don't exactly look like the picture but hopefully they'll taste better than the picture I don't know about you guys but I feel like I got lied to. This looks nothing like that. <laughs> but again, let's see if the flavor is there. Because at the end of the day, really, that's all that matters. It just matters that it tastes good and... <laughs> yeah, I'm not... Mm, whoa. I, yeah, my, my wife had said that I put way too much pepper in it. Oh, oh yeah. But... It tastes really good. The, the The pepper just gives it a little kick, or a lot of kick, I guess, if I put too much in it. But, wow, it tastes really good. Mm. 
the panko is crunchy, at least the top part. The bottom part, not so much. Because this was in direct. Alright, this part, the top was in direct. Um, the, the direct source of the heat and fan. So this is going to be crunchiest. And this right here is kind of soft, but we don't care about that. Well, either way, they, these came out really good. They taste really good. Let's see if I can break it in half a little bit. I guess you guys can see that it cooked all the way through. The meat looks nice and clear. Not clear, excuse me, uh, white. And it's got a little bit of that pink look to it. So just like it's supposed to. It's really good. Very good. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys try this out, it's really simple. Mostly the preparation and the cleanup is probably the mo the hardest part, but we all prepare and clean up all the time, so we're used to that. Especially to eat something nice and good. This is really good. Guys, till next time, thanks for coming by. Like, comment, subscribe. Give us any ideas in case you guys uh, are interested in anything else. I know you, some of you guys have said things like, uh, you know, the steaks and stuff, and I, and I did those for you guys. So, um... If you guys want to see anything else, just let us know. Thank you. Bye.